Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And this is a 16 by 20 inch black canvas. And these are, it's pre-primed and it's dry and it's kind of schmutzy right out of the package. And I think I'm going to start on a sky and I'm going to do it <laughs> so it's upside down for me. I also have some interesting news. That was an Indian blue that you probably can't get a hold of, but some of these other things you can. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Venetian blue, which is an iridescent, which looks very, very similar to the Indian blue. So that's a good thing, right? And a little peacock blue from Decor de Americana. I like swiping skies. I have a little bit of purple. I need to make up some more of this. This was probably started as a dioxazine purple and then I put iridescent pearl fine into it. I have, what else do I have? You know what I have? I have the hot orchid from, um, from Color Art, but I'm almost out of it. So I wanted to show you guys what I did, which was I took my already mixed um, <laughs> folk art neon pink and I put unicorn spit into it along with some iridescent medium and they look similar enough to make me happy like in even if I'm going to run out I'm not going to run out completely so I want to do um, a swipe on the bottom half of this but right now I just want to get some colors into the sky area and maybe over the edge sort of gently, with the exception of that. So what do I want to do? I kind of want to use some of that iridescent, maybe a little bit more of the Venetian blue from Modern Masters. I wasn't really trying to make chemtrails, but the trail fits. So I'm still trying to have enough paint left on my spatula to go over my edges on my top and it's kind of working. I like the black canvas in the background. That way if I need to scrape down to something it's not too sheer. But I have a few spots that I'd like to cover. But the more, the weirder it looks the better it is. I don't know how to explain that. So I'm going to take some black and start my bottom half just by filling in some of this. And that is how well this Oxo Omelet Turning Spatula spreads paint. Because just one little line and you pretty much covered the whole thing. When I prime canvases, because there's Floetrol in the mix and the Floetrol is a leveler, it means that if I put one little line of paint on and get to it fast enough before it dries completely, the, the leveling will make the marks from the spatula go away. So it's a really, really good tool. I don't want to interrupt that. I really don't want that dry, but I think I can be quick enough, and that's what I'm counting on. Oh, wait. Look, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I kind of, I kind of wouldn't mind doing that at some point in time, but I really want to experiment with this swipe method, and I like what I've got, and I like the black, the black in my sky. So maybe I'm just going to make it so there is some. There we go. I'm going to wipe off my. Oxo Omelette Turning Spatula on my Lola Fee silicone mat. I was gifted a long time ago. Now, must be last, summer before last even. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? I am going to take a small container, which is just a lid, and I would usually use a different container. This is my Floetrol. This is where I'm gonna put the paint that I'm gonna scoop with my shovel. I wanna just, I want this to be Pretty simple, but we all know that I have trouble complying with simple. 
So if I have some, yeah, I have some dioxazine purple. I'm using my black mix. I bought a large container finally for the first time ever of um, golden iridescent pearl fine. I have some Modern Masters coppery color and some gold and I'm just going to take my shovel and make sure I see what I like down here. I wish I had enough paint for two of those. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and go back and put a little more black in that shovel and grab some copper while I'm at it. I've got some bronze and that might be good in there as well. But I don't want it to be too bland. I think some more of that Prussian blue is going to go in there because that makes nice cells. And then I'm just going to top it up again at the end with now I want this to be really, really uneven. I think I'm going to go through twice. But first I'm going to dump that off. Right back into the container it was in. So it goes right over the edge. And then I'm going to pick it up again. There's my dumpings. Put it back in my shovel. There's plenty of gold in there, so maybe I'll put some silver in this one. Which usually winds up looking like water. Just put all the same colors right in again. Uh, what did I do with the copper? I put it back. Usually I don't put white into things because it doesn't serve me, but I want a really abstract pattern. This time I'm going to try even harder to... change it up. Just rest the shovel in a vertical position and it will drop whatever colors it has there. I don't know exactly what's going to happen because I really want to use this Princeton Art for Catalyst Spatula first of all and get the rest of my color right out of my shovel so I'm not wasting anything. I'm glad there's some black in between. I'm really nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. So. This might mess it up, and that might have been very cool just the way it was, but what I'm planning on doing is taking one of these small swipe cards. Actually, I'm going to take this nice one with a rounded tip, and I'm going to just dip it in the Floetrol. And knock it off in my little dish. And hope that this works. The way I'm hoping it'll work. I may wind up tipping this. I probably should have gone with more black and white. I'm going to grab my more square card. I lost my lucky purple card, but it's here somewhere because I finally found my tweezers. The studio gremlins relinquished their hold on my Oh, I just got rid of some really pretty cells. Oh well, maybe I'll get some more. Yeah, I definitely want to just do all of it with Floetrol to see what I can get for layers. Even though it was kind of nice before. I can always take my dribble pan and do something with it, too. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It's not going to be the same as other things I've done, but it'll probably have some cells 
and I'll get the stripes I was hoping for. And I'm just going to use my card to go through and add some texture. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link under the link tree under the video. Right above my email address. Where you can contact me if you need to ask a question or reserve time for a private class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Or maybe even purchase an artwork, which is the most useful thing you can do for me. I want to put some gold up there in that sky, but I think what I need to do instead... I guess I will. I'll put a little bit of gold in there too. Because I'm using my... my card to swipe with. Whoa! There I am! Underneath the camera again! Darn! I'm so sorry! I know! I feel so bad whenever I feel my head touch the camera. Alright, I'm going to grab a little more flow troll. This is an experiment I've been wanting to make for a while. So, now there. It's pretty well done. We got quite a few cells, but not as many as I was expecting. Sometimes it really depends on the paint. Some paints sell so much better than others. And I can torch. Looks more like a colorful ocean than it does land. But I'm just learning. And I'll figure it out in time, maybe. <laughs> we can hope. The black at the horizon line looks like mountains behind, so that makes me happy. I like that. This one mark in the sky is not making me happy, though. I'm not sure why. And even if I can get away with fixing it. But if I can, I can get rid of that, ooh, that gold blob, too. I want a little more of that pink, to tell you the truth. Since I just got away, since I just got away with it, I will again. I will try again. It's just wet enough to spread it out. So that's kind of cool. I'm really tempted to use the spatula to try and swipe some of this. Because I can also, and because we both want to know. So I'm thinking maybe I should have some like black trees or something. In the meantime, I'm going to use my spatula to very quickly camouflage the bottom so it's not just black. Because I've got all that paint I saved from scraping. I'm going to do the same thing on the edges. Then I'm going to torch. I do have some nice cells. I got it. That's not allowed. I got to figure out how to get the effect. I have something planted in my mind that I want, but I'm not sure how to get it yet. Maybe using the spatula is definitely a way to do it. Because if I make little vertical marks and then they dry with the flow troll, they'll look like ledges or something similar anyway. I don't want to eradicate all the cool stuff I've got. Which I might be doing. I might not, too. This might be just fine. I like the combination of the cells that are throughout that I haven't torched yet. Right along with these weird marks I'm adding, which are pretty cool, honestly. And you agitate paint, you'll discover new colors. I'm really tempted to just put like a black mark in at one point and see what happens. Because black will usually make the eye follow that and recede. 
No, don't eradicate your cells, woman. Let's go right up there. Actually, I've got a little bit of white. This is looks like a sky we could use. Use a moon in. Well, I'll get the hang of it at some point in time, and I bet this will dry pretty interestingly. And i got to stop messing with it or it's <laughs> not going to be making me happy tomorrow. Good, we got lots of texture, and that's pretty cool. Let's get rid of some more of that. That's my number one. So thank you for being here, and check on my community board for tomorrow's video, and check on my playlists on my YouTube channel for over 1,700 videos organized by the 100. I want some blue back there. Why do I want some blue back there? Um, by the 100 and by the topic. Maybe I'll just settle for turquoise. Drop. Thank you. It's so dark it doesn't matter what I do right now. It'll still blend in, I think. If I'm lucky. There we go. I have two minutes to tell you guys that I have two books. One is called Because I Can. The other one is called Unlimited Possibilities. And you can find those on the Amazon link where if you, if you shop. If you shop there, it's at no way to cost you and it helps me out and I really appreciate that along with if you want to help me out, your thumbs up are really appreciated and uh, you can find the exhibition video on the end screen of any video that will share with you what the monthly prizes are. For those of you who decide that you can afford to contribute to help keep me creating videos, uh, there's an exhibition video with those prizes and you will be automatically entered should you happen to use PayPal or Patreon. You can find the icons on the bottom right hand side of my YouTube channel banner, but you can also find the links on the link tree. The link tree also has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Sachi art, my website. Uh, I can't remember anything else. My Teespring clothing is below the video, and that's a great place to find out to find all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I'm kind of like, I'm digging the texture. It's different than anything I've ever done or seen before. Um, sometimes things when they're different, they're a little shocking to the system and it takes me a minute and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. But uh, the combination of the cells from the Floetrol and the spatula make a really interesting effect. I'm really glad you guys joined me. Thank you so much for the thumbs up and thank you for the wonderful comments and thank you for the donations that have helped keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate it. Um, what did I forget to tell you? I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and I think I said that. And my email address is where to contact me should you have an interest in per making an art, art purchase. And um, you need the hashtag, and it wouldn't hurt to have the title, but the number in the title is the, what you really need. So this is kind of cool. Thank you for joining me so much. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery. We're wondering what I forgot. <laughs> And I know this stuff I forget. But I love you, and I will see you anon. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Please forgive my head. I'll see you anon.